Our next keynote speaker is Ms. Grace Wang, Vice President and General Manager of Intel Taiwan. And the talk of her, uh, the, the topic of her talk today is Unleash AI Everywhere. Let us welcome Ms. Grace Wang. Chairman Paul, Director General Liu, industry leaders, I'm very happy to speak to you in this forum on behalf of Intel Taiwan to share with you our vision in AIPC. Our vision is usually based on a very important concept. In the past 55 years, Intel has an important principle that is, we need to build an ecosystem together to truly boost the development of an industry. So today I want to talk more about our vision on AI and AIPC, how we can work with businesses here in Taiwan in a more integrated way to build the in ecosystem together so we can invent the future together. In the talk by Dr. Hong, I truly resonate with some of the points he shared. This industry is disruptive for our industry, uh, for our time. A lot of innovation is changing our behavior, changing the way we interact with technology. From the early age of um, AI usage, Till now, a lot of consumer-focused, consumer-oriented application, and in the future, more enterprise-grade uh, AI application and AI modification. These are all new opportunities we haven't seen before. So combining everything, the uh, future technology is changing gradually in front of us. So. Just like internet in the previous era, internet changed our behavior, changed the way we live, changed the way we create and work. And in the future, AI will do the same. Facing such a big revolution and change, we are seeing big opportunities as well. Whichever way you use AI, it simply provides digitalization function. That means it requires strong base in the semiconductor. So before 2030, by 2030, we are seeing uh, all businesses utilizing AI. SMEs, personal use, big businesses will need to use and will use AI application. We are seeing $1 trillion semiconductor total addressable market in the future for AI. So that means whether uh, we are talking about delivering of the product or we're, we are talking about foundry, we need to build a strong foundation to serve this foreseeable $1 trillion TMA, TAM in the future. And I really look forward to working with local businesses here in Taiwan to serve this future. Dr. Hong talked about how his daughter using ChatGPT to help uh, generate reports. I believe we all experience the same thing. Our children are using ChatGPT in their learning. And right now, we are seeing much more opportunities using large language model, using cloud services. There are a lot more uh, usage with vertical integration and more edge uh, applications. So I'm sharing some examples here in different industry. Um, I don't think this will come as a surprise for you. In healthcare, for example, Dr. Lian is here. He must be will be able to share a lot about the application. Previously, I worked with Yadong Hospital, and uh, we. Uh, uh, we uh, collected two seconds of data uh, and used that data to uh, uh, to allow AI to inference uh, the prediction of uh, cancer at the uh, throat area. So a simple de detection function with two seconds of your vocal sound will be able to detect the cancer. So Taiwan is a strong base for manufacturing. A lot of partners here in Taiwan are using AI everywhere. For example, in your production line to detect defects or to detect 
uh, um, maintenance requirements for the machines in your production line. These are all, are already happening. So I'm using these examples to share with you that AI is not just about large language models. It's not just ChatGPT writing reports to you. More importantly, we need to think about how to use this vertical application so that our own industry, our own sector can leverage the power of AI to generate more economic value. At Intel, what we see is that within so many vertical opportunities, uh, there is a big, uh, uh, there is an opportunity, of course, with ChatGPT, a large cloud based large language model, but AI is everywhere. And so from the left hand side, we can see a lot of the training and inferencing is done on cloud. That's what we are seeing right now. That's why that's where we're seeing opportunities right now. And, and all the hype is there. But there are challenges in this usage as well, because the scale is too big. Not every company, not every sector is able to afford such cloud based large language model application. So if we want to bring AI everywhere, we need to bring AI to the enterprise side, to every company, so that every company can effectively use these AI technologies to create value for their company. So apart from the cloud, from uh, data center and hyperscale usage, we are seeing more opportunities on age, on the enterprise side. Of course, that means uh, some other consideration we need to take. For example, economy of scale, which means if you do everything on cloud, it will be too expensive to average companies. They will worry about also data sensitivity. And also, if they need to make decisions fast, they should be able to, uh, to conduct inferencing locally. And also, some company doesn't require AI workload on the, their entire day. Maybe 80% is only for general purpose and the other 20% for AI inferencing. So for economic consideration, and companies require more enterprise uh, application, perhaps edge base. So Intel recently announced, for example, the young processor, Gaudi 3 accelerator, uh, there, they can all be used on edge. We will be able to provide Xeon based CPU server coupling with accelerators to allow faster decision making on edge. I believe for most enterprise AI, this will be a better solution economically. Apart from enterprise usage, uh, looking further down to the end user side, this is where uh, the key is, the AIPC application. I will talk more about this later, but I would like to echo our uh, two keynote speakers before me. A lot of times we shouldn't talk just about AIPC, but the entire infrastructure as well, from end user to edge to enterprise to cloud. Everything should be integrated and interlinked to build, to provide a full and robust infrastructure. I will not talk about the edge side, a, uh, a, uh, the AIPC. I'm happy to announce with you last November, we announced our first generation AIPC, Intel Ultra Processor. Starting last year in New York, when we launched uh, the first generation, it's been deployed uh, across the world right now. Uh, there has been 213 uh, AIPCs uh, being shipped across the world. The sales volume right now is very healthy. More than 5 million AIPCs shipped to date. And uh, this year, by the end of this year, we anticipate uh, more uh, 40 million PC will be shipped. So right now, there are a lot of companies trying to provide AI PC end user solutions, making our PC smarter. But right now, a, uh, Intel is already provide an, a ready to use solution. And the heart of the CPU, of course, is the core, our uh, core ultra processor. This processor is the uh, most fundamental change for Intel. 
in Intel architecture, this is a big disruption. We, uh, the original principle is to focus on general compute. Now we are shifting the focus toward AI compute. So there are several ch major changes here. As Dr. Hong said, putting MPU directly in the core, so it's a low, uh, it is a uh, low uh, power, but long uh, working uh, and efficient uh, core. And also it combines CPU, GPU to deliver 70% faster Gen AI performance. Apart from that, we have SESS function included as well, so you can effectively use the AI functions to enhance the visual delivery. So all the video will provide higher resolution performance. That is what Chairman Pong wants to see us, I think, in his displayer with the support of AI, the final result will be better. So these are just some of the examples of the changes. The CPU itself, from gen to gen performance, uh, is now delivering more than uh, double performance for gaming. So I'm just trying to share with you the, the all the improvement in performance with the new generation CPU. And it, it is a very important change in our fundamental architecture. There are three principles. The first principle is the law of economics. So if we want need to send everything to CSP to cloud before using it, it takes a lot of cost to, to use uh, such an application. So for economic reason, we really need to be able to run the application smaller language model, for example, on edge. The second uh, change in principle is the law of physics. If you need to send everything cloud and then wait for the result back, there will be latency. So uh, whether the result can be sent back in real time is a problem, and the network uh, workload is another problem. So that's a limitation for the original application. And the third change is the law of lens. As we said, privacy, security is critical uh, elements we need to think about when using uh, AI. So that's why local inferencing is important. Based on these three changes in the principle, we design this first generation of uh, core process. It is a gen AI ready architecture in our core ultra. Uh, there are three processing units combined with the uh, newest generation of packaging. As you see on the chart, the first tile is GPU. As you know, GPU can uh, generate, for example, text to image application. And its development has been carried out for more than 20 years. So the integration uh, has been going on with very strong enhancement in gen to gen. The second tile is MPU. As I said, the low power, long workloads for AI. For example, it can, it, during meeting, it can uh, remove the uh, sound, uh, the background noise with very low power requirement. That's a uh, second key tile we put into uh, our Gen AI ready CP, uh, core. Then the third tile is CPU. It's of course the, the soul of this core. It processes key processing, but also another important work is uh, coordination between CPU, GPU, and MPU workload. That's why MP we are able to we are able to do this because Intel has a long history of uh, capabilities in the core building. That's why we can coordinate the workload between GPU, MPU, and CPU. Build, bringing these three tiles together creates a very effective AI PC usage. We are also happy to share with you that we have optimized more than 500 AI models. These models are being deployed uh, to the market gradually, so you all are seeing them or will be soon be able to see of them. Within these 500 models of more than 100 ISP, uh, the uh, software vendor are using our AIPC futures with the 500 models. They've created more than 300 AI-based feature in their own product. 
Just to name a few examples, with our Intel AI acceleration uh, program, we have engaged some software vendors. One of the example here is our local CyberLink. There are uh, 365 uh, CyberLink. I believe uh, a lot of you have used their product. One of if you look on the right hand side also, uh, AI will be able to put to uh, replace uh, the background of a lot of the photos. So think about how this can be very effective for a marketing company, for example. Another perspective is from the productivity side. Uh, we all use Zoom with Intel MPU. When you are in a Zoom meeting, it can help remove background noise, and it can anchor at your eyes. So when you uh, look at different direction, uh, our function will help you uh, engage the eye contact and lock on your eyes. So that's a very great usage for a telemeeting. So uh, with more engagement with ISVs, we really look forward to bringing up more applications for consumers. And I want to use this page to con some conclude my talk. At Intel, our culture is to build ecosystem together with all stakeholders in software and hardware, and also on the model side. We want to use our capabilities to help the integration of the in, uh, ecosystem. Our belief is that the ecosystem should be open. We are a silicon company, but OEM and ODMs are our partners as well. Together, we are uh, working with hardware companies and software vendors we can provide services that integrate the ecosystem. So I really welcome you to join us in AIPC, in AI on edge, uh, in a network on the enterprise application or edge cloud application. We want to combine all the energy in our local Taiwanese company, uh, companies and build a better future together. Thank you.